guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going old school. I've got something in my eye already. It has been a while since I sat down to film. So if you guys watch our weekly vlogs, you'll know what's been happening, why we've not been filming. That sounds really dramatic. It's not dramatic at all. I asked you guys in one of my kind of recent videos what you would like to see from me and loads of you guys said you want old school Jamie G. Old school Jamie G that wears so much makeup, grungy glam queen, here to take names, secure bags. First things first, moisturizer. I'm using the Uli Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. It's amazing. It really is one of my favorite moisturizers. Oh, and I'm excited about putting on a lot of makeup. That moisturizer for me, it smells amazing. It's really nice and hydrating. You've got vitamin C in there and it's really nice underneath makeup as well. Old School Jamie G would do our brows first. So let's do that. And I will do them on camera for you guys. Right, let's zoom you in. Skin's okay. Uh, I've not really been looking after it as well as I should, but that's fine. Oh God, I've not done it this way in so long. I'm gonna just follow the same steps that I used to do years ago. So I'm gonna go in, I'm using my Benefit Cabrow in the shade number three. Fill in our brows. It's funny, I know a lot of people still do it this way, but this is exactly how I used to do my brows. It's how I used to do my brows on clients. So we're probably gonna end up doing more dramatic makeup than usual, but I was looking through my channel, I was looking at all my thumbnails and it's been ages since I've done some real dramatic makeup, like proper makeup. So I'm really excited. I'm excited to see how this turns out. Get ready because it's nearly Halloween. Spooky season is upon us and I'm really excited about Halloween this year. I have a plan. I have a plan of action. So I'm just filling in my brows, mostly filling them in at the ends. And the little brush I'm using is actually from Benefit as well. This is just the angle brush that's got a spoolie on the end. Perfect for doing brows. I do want the front to be fuller than usual, but I want it to still have that kind of ombre. Let's do our concealer. I used to do this every time I did my brows. This is crazy. I'm gonna go in with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Ginger. And I'm just gonna go straight into the pot and then work off the back of my hand. And we're just gonna carve our brows out. I'm just gonna do it up here. Just tidies them up a little bit, really. I always found this really good when I was doing makeup on clients because you could kind of almost tuck the brow on quite quickly and then just tidy it up. Let's now do our eyes. This is backwards for me now. This is new, this is fun, this is exciting. Gimme Brow Plus in the shade five. So I got a little bit darker with this and we're just gonna go right through the brow. Oh, this is a good brow. I was thinking what my favourite kind of eye look to do is, back in the day anyway, and it's something that I've not done in a really long time, and it is a super grungy spotlight eye. Great opportunity to try out this palette. This is the new Me, Myself and Mama -ma Mitchell Beauty Bay palette. And it is absolutely beautiful, look at this. Really cool, amazing colours. So I am gonna kind of stick with the gold and the neutrals, because I do want it to be that smoky, smoky, old school Jamie G extravaganza. Something that I really love doing with my eyes as of late is using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and it is in the shade Amande. I actually have done this once before in a video but I really do love doing this. I love using this concealer just like so and just like so. And we're going to buff that out and that's going to be our base. If you've never tried doing this, I highly recommend you do it because I just love the way it makes my shadows look. And when I was in Paris just there, I literally every day would use this concealer and then set it with a transition-y shade and just stick some mascara on and that was my eye looks every single day. So I'm just blending that right out and down. I don't mind because I can tidy it all up because I don't have my foundation on yet. So you've got transition shade on already. First thing I'm going to do as we are going to go super grungy. I'm going to go in with this shade here. I just realised I'm pointing at them all. This one right here. And I'm going to buff that into my crease. I need a small mirror. Oh, perfect. This comes in the Mitchell palette. Oh, high quality. Look, there's, where's you guys? Hello. Set the concealer almost around the crease. And because it's concealer, I don't know, it just blends really nicely. I, I've been doing this forever. That's a, such a nice grungy tone straight away and it's because of the concealer being the base. I just think it makes life super easy and it makes doing your eye makeup really, really quick. 
<laughs> I'm excited. I've not done a lot of makeup in a long time, so if this is really shit, I'm just getting back in the swing of it, okay? Right, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Monday, which is right here. It's kind of like a dark, cool toned brown. And I'm gonna go in with a firm brush. This is one of the brushes from Kaylee and So Sue's collaboration. And I'm gonna start, oh yeah, patting that on the outer corner. I'm gonna do wee wiggles. Gonna go in with a little kind of more dense brush and we're gonna do the same thing on the inner corner. This is gonna be cool, you guys. I'm gonna start dragging that in and blending that up and out. And remember, you can go back in with your fluffy brush in the warmer shade and kind of blend around the sides. That really helps. I like those colors. I'm also just going in with a little bit of that transition shade onto the lid as well, just to make sure we're not gonna start creasing anywhere. I am absolutely desperate for Mitchell to do my makeup. He's done my makeup once before for a masterclass in Glasgow, but it was super quick. He only did one of my eyes on stage and it was amazing, but I'm desperate for him to do my whole face. Petition to make this happen. I'm just using the same brush to blend. I think with the spotlight eye, it's just good to take your time with it. Nurture the eye, nurture the spotlight and build up the pigment bit by bit. I'm gonna use my fluffy brush in the darker shade just to build up that color on the outside because I'm not gonna do wings with this look so I want the eyeshadow to wing itself out. Question, if you could pick for your makeup or your hair to be magically done every morning, what would you pick? I would 100% pick hair because obviously I love doing my makeup but I am, um, Still not the best at hair. I'm getting much better. But if you could pick to have your hair or your makeup done every single morning for you, what would you pick? I'm gonna just do that in the inner corner as well. I'm just kind of running over everything with my big blender to make sure it's all nicely blended. And we're doing quite big eyes today. So just making sure they're kind of both. Reading from the same book. And a top tip is if you're working with cool shadows and you're wanting to help them blend a little bit more is go in with a warm colour and it just kind of smooths everything out. Right, I'm going to go in with a really small brush and a little bit of black. So that is Mafia black one. So this is kind of like the cool side and then this is the warm side here. I'm going to go in with the black and we're going to go right in at the lash line. This little brush is amazing. This is the Morphe M506. It's definitely one of my most used brushes. Cool, and you can almost kind of mimic a smoky lash line with this. And now I need a shimmery colour. I think I'll use the shade Master, which is this kind of like antique gold. And I'm going to go in with a brush and some Fix Plus. And let's just see. Oh, nice. Trace out where you want it. And I like to kind of go up and past the, where the crease is. And I originally keep my eye open and just pat it on so the spotlight is directly above my pupil. Do you know what I mean? To add a wee bit more dimension, I'm going to go in with the Glossier Play Glitter Jelly in Bijou Bijou. Wow. So cool. So I'm just going to pick that up and I don't really know how yet. I think a little brush would be fine. And I'm just going to... Path it down the center. I just want a little extra glitter, you know? I don't want it to overtake the look. Cool, see that difference? I think it's just when you start playing with different textures on top of each other. Really like that. Happy as Larry, could not be happier. Let's shove some mascara on. So I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And then we're actually gonna zoom out and do our skin and we'll finish off the eyes after we've been using all our powders and stuff because if you put your lashes on too early, they can end up getting powder and things in them and it's just, it's just not pretty. And then let's zoom out and do our skin. Really happy with how we that that is looking. I'm just gonna take a little cotton square and I'm just gonna tidy up the majority of what's fallen on my face. So just like that much, I'm leaving the outer corner. Ooh, see you later. Okay, for skin, I've already used my moisturizer. I'm gonna go in with my Herborean Bamboo Matte Primer. So many of you watched me and Jack's little mini moon video or vlog, and you were all asking how my makeup lasted through the whole of Disneyland. I am gonna do the exact same skin that I did then today. 
because it lasts forever. So I did my makeup at nine in the morning and we didn't leave Disneyland until about half 11 at night because we watched the fireworks. And then we actually went out and didn't get home until four in the morning. So really I had my makeup on for 19 hours and it actually did last 19 hours. And it was hot, I was sweating and everything. So keep your eyes peeled for the things I'm gonna use. I hope no one gets annoyed at me for doing this. I'm gonna mix my foundations the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation is unbelievable by itself. It's really, really gorgeous. But I'm going to mix a little bit of the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation because I really love the finish of this as well. But the colour, it kind of it kind of matches me better when I mix them. So I'm going to take a pump of the Urban Decay and two little pumps of that. Beauty Blender. I've been really loving my Beauty Blender again. And then boom, 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 boom. Pants that into my face. So it looks a wee bit yellow, but uh, actually when I'm finished doing all my bits, it really matches me great. And then around my brows, I'm just going to be careful, but because we've done that little perimeter of concealer, it actually blends in fine. And then I'm actually just going to go up and kind of over the corner of my eye makeup, because look, that just kind of blends in nicely now. Squeeze this together and just go in between my brows. But seriously, this combination it just doesn't come off. Both of the foundations themselves last a long time. Um, I would say that the NARS doesn't quite last as long, but it fades better. The Urban Decay lasts amazing, but if you, this is really gross, but if you're a messy eater uh, and you're eating something kind of oily, it will come off in a huge chunk, but that kind of would happen with anyone that would rub their face in oil. <laughs> so I personally think that might have been my fault. I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. We're gonna go right under the eye. Woo! And I'm gonna use quite a lot of concealer because that is exactly what I did at Disneyland Day. And we're going ham with the makeup. I'm just gonna pinch that in as well. The concealer is really good for adding coverage to any areas. My nose is actually probably the area that I add to most and under my eyes. That is a strong base. I'm gonna go right under this eye. And I'm just making sure to go right up to my tear ducts because that's where I get a little bit dark. Oh my God, I immediately feel better. See when you've done your eyes and then you do your foundation, it just looks so much better when it's all done together. I'm actually gonna go in with a Smith 133 brush and I used this for my bronzer yesterday and I really loved it. I'm just gonna buff it into the skin so it's quite a dense brush. You guys know I absolutely love my Smith brushes so much. Just do my little forehead. And I'm just going to do it around the tip of my nose and the sides of my nose with this brush and just kind of on my nose as well. And you can see how that just buffs the powder. It looks like it's been airbrushed on or something. It doesn't even look like a layer of powder on my skin. I just love it. For blusher, I'm going to go in with NARS Orgasm. I'm just obsessed with it. It's got such a lovely glow to it. When I was in France, my highlighter smashed to bits. Um, and all I had was this blusher. And it actually gives such a nice glow to the skin. I'm obsessed. Going to apply a little bit of highlight. Woohoo! Wow. Oh, that is so pretty. We bit my keeper's bow and a little tin man nose. Super glowy skin. But do you know what's amazing is that foundation is actually more on the matte side. So see all the glow, it's all fake, which means it's gonna last all day. And then something I like to do after applying highlight is just go over with a big brush just to kind of merge the bronzer and the highlight all together for a seamless Seamless skin. Okay, powder. Laura Mercier translucent powder is just the best. So I'm gonna go in with a smaller version of the Smith brush I was using earlier. This is the 131. And I actually like buffing the powder into my skin. So I'm gonna go under the eyes with the powder and that's it. It just mattifies exactly where you need to mattify. Round my little chin and then in between my eyebrows. Just there, just to get that nice and smooth as well. Right, we need to finish off our eyes and something that I used to love doing was using a pencil and then buffing it out with an eyeshadow. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna use the Melt Eyeliner in the shade 818. It's got a little bit of shimmer through it, but I don't mind that because we've got sparkly lids on top. I'm gonna drag that underneath my eye. 
And I'm going to buff that out with the shade Monday. So the cool tone dark brown. If it's not a big smoky under eye, then I'm not interested. And it's up to you. You can do the, you can mimic the spotlight if you want, but I actually think it looks uh, quite cool and a wee bit grungy when it's just all smoked out. You see the difference, it makes your eyes look so much bigger. And it, it does make it a lot more dramatic as well. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And the pencil underneath, it just gives the eyeshadow something to really stick onto. And I think it just intensifies it a lot as well. Okay, I'm going to add some bottom mascara and then we're going to do our lashes. Just the Maybelline Lash Sensational again. And I'm just taking my time to get nice chunky bottom lashes. Just going to do my little freckle with my Benefit Brown Roller Liner. I actually use this all the time for my liner because I actually love brown eyeliner with just mascara for like the easiest day to day look. I'm going to set all my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Summer Solstice and I'm just going to soak my whole face and I think this just gets away any powdery look to the skin and it also just kind of melts the products into your face. I am super excited to say the next portion of the video is sponsored by Tatty Lashes. If you've watched any of my tutorials, you'll know that I absolutely love these lashes. My favourite styles are the TL7, which are super fluffy, I'll zoom in and show you in a second. The TL10s, and I also love the TL3 and the TL4, I use them all the time. <laughs> TL7s are a little bit more wispy and fluffy and the TL10s are a bit more dense. They're still that lovely wispy way but they're a little bit thicker so I think I'm going to go for these ones. I get my lashes, they have gone for the TL10s and I have here the little lash applicator from Tatty Lashes. This is a this is an extra special one. This is the Tatty Lashes collaboration with Mitchell, the second collaboration and the lashes work like this. So this one is for this eye and this one is for this eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our lashes in a mirror and the easiest way that I find doing lashes is I sit them on my eye and I have a look. So these ones are super low so I know that I need to cut off at least three chunks. Can you see that? So I'm going to cut off two chunks first. Let's try that. These are the little lash scissors from Tatty Lashes as well. I'm going to flip over the lash and I'm going to cut off two big spikes. Something as well that I like to do is just cut off the little tail on the inside of the lash. Okay, so we've cut off two. Let's see if that's going to be good enough. So you can kind of just sit them on your eye and get a good idea. I actually think that that might be fine. Ooh, drama. Perfect. So now that you know exactly what you're doing, that's when I get this lash and I do the exact same thing. So I'm going to cut off two spikes, flip it round, cut off the little tail in the inner corner. Next thing that I do, I'm going to get lash glue. This is the brand new glue from Tatty Lashes and I'm really excited to try it. So there's certain glue that I like and there's certain glue that I really don't like and this has got a blue hue to it. Do you see? It's got the blue hue, which means I know I'm going to like it. But what you do is you glue it up and then I just rest it down. So see if you've got a flat surface and you pop your lash down, the band doesn't actually touch my hand. So I usually just put the glue on the lash and then sit it down on my desk in front of me and it ne it's never a problem. The worst thing that you can do is apply a lash when it's still wet because it will just come straight off and you'll end up in a big sticky mess. Whereas if you leave it until it's pretty much nearly dry, it is so sticky that it will just stick right onto your eye. It's perfect. You need to be patient. So I'm just going to literally Set that lash on my lash line. I can still feel it's a little bit wet so I'm just going to give it a second and the heat of the eye starts to dry the glue a little bit quicker. Another thing that I like to do while I've got the glue on is get one side another and then just give it a little bend, a little bendy wendy before you pop it on your eye. And again get it right on the lash line and little tweezers like this are great because they've got rounded edges if you can see so you're not going to hurt yourself. But I just like to play around with them and make sure they're both in the same place on each eye. And then this one's pretty much dry so that's when you go in with your squeezers, that's what I call them, squeezers. And I just squeeze the lash. Because I don't have any liner on, I just need to be really careful that I get the lashes super close to the lash line so when I look straight they're pretty much undetectable and then when I look down they just match up with my lash line. So these little tools are brilliant, I actually don't know what I did without them. Do the same thing with the other eye. 
And that is my lashes on. They look totally undetectable. They are stuck right on there, right onto my lash line. They feel super comfortable. And obviously I've used this style before on my channel. They're just really, really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you out and let's do our lips. So I would say the old school Jamie was even more of a nude lover than today Jamie. So I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay Liar Lip Liner. I just love it still. And I'm gonna line my lips like so and then I like to drag the lip liner onto the lip. Something else I really like to do these days is get a slightly darker pencil and just define my top lip. Just like so. And then this is one of my new favourite nude lipsticks. This is from the new NARS collection. So you might have seen on everyone's Instagram stories that we all got this amazing big tower of lipsticks and I am just slowly working my way through all of them. I love them so much. This is one of the original 10 shades that Mr. NARS released, the first ever release in the NARS brand. And this is Honolulu Honey. It is a satin finish nude lipstick. I've been using it today. But it is almost, it's quite sheer. It just helps blend my lip liner in with my lips and it's hydrating. It also fades really beautifully. So you're left with your kind of natural lip color with just a kind of touch of nude and then you can just top it up no problem. And I like that it's not totally matte. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. I always put it on and then just give it a blend in with my fingers. I feel like I need to smoke my under eyes out a little bit more. Oh, ho I'm just going in with a touch of man-made on a big fluffy brush. This I used to do this all the time. And I'm just gonna buff that. Oh yeah, that's better. So you guys, that is the finished look. I hope you really liked it. It's been a while since I went full grunge, uh, but I really like it. It was really fun to play with tons of makeup. I really love Mitchell's new palette. I knew that that would be the case, but I'm so excited that I got a chance to play around with it. Other than that, everything that I use will be linked below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Ignoring my hair as well. This looks like a kind of pastry, doesn't it? It looks a little bit like a cake. Oh, she's looking a bit tired. But I just think because, oh, see you later, beauty blender. Who the hell are my brushes? Holy moly, Jack's gonna have to take me out for my dinner or something. Oh, how did I look for, oh, look at this hair. This is the summer solstice. This is the summer solstice. So, I can't say that. Summer solstice, there we go. Oh my God. What has happened underneath my eyes? My little baby here is going crazy. No, yeah, no. <laughs> Get a slightly darker.